Donald Trump is showing signs tonight of being a sore winner. The president-elect is suggesting, with zero evidence to back up his claim, that he won the popular vote, and he's a victim of widespread election fraud. In addition to winning the Electoral College in a landslide, Trump wrote on Twitter, I won the popular vote, if you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally. After repeatedly railing against the system on the campaign trail, It is a rigged system. And be careful with the voting. Be careful with everything. You watch everything, folks. He's now throwing out blatant and baseless allegations on Twitter. Serious voter fraud in Virginia, New Hampshire, and California. So why isn't the media reporting on this? Serious bias, big problem. Election officials in all three states say Trump's charges are flat out wrong. Trump transition officials have not offered any hard evidence to back up his staggering claims of fraud. Hillary Clinton's lead in the popular vote has climbed to over 2 million. Despite charging that millions of fraudulent votes were cast nationwide, Trump is actually crying foul over the recount getting underway in Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Elections Commission said today it would start counting nearly 3 million ballots again at the request of Green Party candidate Jill Stein. She's pledging to foot the $1 million tab in Wisconsin, even as she pushes for recounts in Michigan and Pennsylvania. Trump swept the three Rust Belt states, turning them red for the first time in more than two decades. A recount is highly unlikely to change the outcome. This is certainly not Bush v. Gore. Trump, who won Wisconsin by 22,000 votes, called the Wisconsin recount a scam. Mark Thompson, leader of the bipartisan Wisconsin Election Commission, blasted Trump for peddling what he called a conspiracy theory. To say that it's not being fair or it's not that people are counting illegal votes, uh, from my vantage point, is an insult to the people that run our elections. The Clinton campaign says there is no evidence of wrongdoing, but still plans to observe the Wisconsin recount. That set off a political firestorm. The idea that we are going to drag this out now, where uh, president, the president-elect has been incredibly magnanimous to the Clintons and to the Obamas, is pretty incredible. Mark Elias, Clinton's top lawyer, responded on Twitter. We are getting attacked for participating in a recount that we didn't ask for by the man who won the election but thinks there was massive fraud. Meeting today in Madison, the election board said Stein must pay the recount bill by Tuesday. If she does, it begins in all 72 counties across the state on Thursday, with a deadline of December 12th. Reince Priebus, chairman of the Republican National Committee and soon to be Trump's chief of staff, called it a waste of time. We will sit there and look through Scantron ballots. We will win again for the second time, and they will lose again for the second time, but our country doesn't need it.